Yeah, you know, we would get a couple dozen fans every now and then. If the parents could make the game, that'd be great. They had probably over 10,000 fans in there. An unbelievable atmosphere for a Monday night hockey game between NC State, UNC. The excitement on the ice certainly living up to its billing. Look, this is really a carryover effect from the excitement of the stadium series, which has really been felt across the area. The roar from the crowd appropriate for the Wolfpack faithful and a pinch me moment for Joe Bresingham. This atmosphere is electric. It's awesome. His son drew a forward for NC State, playing on the same rink the Caps and Kane squared off on just two nights ago. I grew up in the north in the Chicago area and they love their fan base there. Here, I only see it growing. You know, so kudos to what the Carolina Hurricanes are doing and also NC State and uh, UNC. Saturday's game drew nearly 60,000 fans and plenty of national attention. And had a great time. Um, glad, uh, you know, Raleigh uh, represented well for the stadium series. Monday's matchups free to the public. Part of an overall effort to promote the sport. It's definitely a hockey town now. I've only been here about seven years or so, but to see the amount of people out here at tailgate and everything else. Former Kane Bates Pataglia able to appreciate both the business and personal side to the stadium series. You know, my two places down here, Lucky Bees and Teats, were, were packed this weekend, and it was all about the Hurricanes. You know, it was, it was just a, a great experience, whether you're here or in, you know, in the area. The crowds, a boon for Russ Jones and Loden Hospitality, which only to the Longleaf Hotel in downtown Raleigh, amongst other locations. It was incredible. Uh, the weekend, just in general, I think market-wide was incredible. Uh, we were sold out both Friday and Saturday night, uh, and the bar revenues that go along with that, great weekend. Prior to puck drop, Raleigh Sports Alliance, citing ticket sales, projected Saturday's game alone would have a $12.4 million impact on the local economy. So events like Stadium Series just bring more attention to Raleigh. People are wanting to come to Raleigh anyway, so maybe this is the tipping point for them to come to Raleigh. The final economic figures will take a few weeks to tally up. We'll share them once they are released, but at this point, it is safe to say this has been a successful weekend in the immediacy and then long term. Getting this type of a showcase is going to make it easier for organizers to draw other events. On the downside, we have to acknowledge the traffic. It was a key concern Saturday. We heard it from fans tonight as well. If the Canes and Raleigh want to keep drawing these types of events, the stadium series of sorts, certainly addressing that will be a point of emphasis for local leaders moving forward. In Raleigh, I'm Michael Perchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah.